my 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go Cygnus, NG-21. Falcon 9 and Cygnus take flight. The SS Dick Scobie is en route to the International Space Station. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. These weather conditions building up for a beautiful launch today. Uh, Just look at yeah, this. That take for quite a while and now passing XQ. And some air dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Wow, so that was an absolutely stunning vapor cone. The motor, that's the most stunning vapor cone I've ever seen. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. Stage one, entry burn startup. And good call out there for entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Have a good call out there for vehicles following nominal stage trajectories. Stage one, transonic. Amazing view of the Falcon 9 booster as it makes its way back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Stage one landing burn. Landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. A spectacular touchdown of our Falcon 9 booster at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. That call out in just a couple moments. MVAC shutdown. And there's that call out for the MVAC shutdown on the Falcon 9 second stage. We're now waiting for confirmation of good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. Cygnus deploy confirmed. And there you have it, a successful spacecraft separation. The Cygnus spacecraft is now on its way to the International Space Station and, as mentioned, is expected to arrive about 40 hours from now. And with successful separation, that's going to do it for me here in Hawthorne. Be sure to check SpaceX.com slash launches for a schedule of our upcoming missions. In the meantime, Courtney, what's next for Cygnus?